Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you two simple methods for blocking any website on Google Chrome. To demonstrate the first method, here I am on my profile on Facebook, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this lock symbol next to the web address. After I click on that, I click on site settings. Here on site settings, the only permission that I have to toggle off is JavaScript. So all you have to do is change from allow to block. Now when I go back to Facebook, and I hit refresh, watch what happens. Nothing, nothing on Facebook. How awesome is that? Try to go to facebook.com, nothing. So there you go, it only took about 30 seconds and we have efficiently blocked Facebook. Let's say we wanna block YouTube. So let's go ahead to YouTube. And all we gotta do is click on the lock right here next to the web address, click on site settings find permissions for JavaScript and change it from allow to block. Now, instantly we refresh YouTube and look what we got, a bunch of gray nothing. I'm trying to click them, it's not doing anything. This website is effectively blocked. The nice thing about blocking in this method is as long as you don't show this method to your children, they won't know how to unblock it. They would have to know to click on this link, to go to the site settings, and they'd have to enable JavaScript. Now, another second method to block websites is to use block site. So to use block site, all you gotta do is Google block site Chrome, click on this first link that will take you to the Chrome store. And this extension has over a million users. It's super popular. So go ahead and click add to Chrome. Add extension. I'm gonna click I accept. Now block site has a lot of cool features. You can block by category, you can customize block pages, you have insights, unlimited blocking list. But I really don't like paying for an extension, especially if I can do it for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip. So now that I've downloaded block site, I can access it simply by clicking on the top right corner on this puzzle piece. This has a list of extensions I have installed. And I'm gonna click on block site. Let's see, it pops open this box. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this gear wheel in the top right corner. When I do that, it says I have six sites left to add to your block list. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna block youtube.com. I'm gonna go ahead and press the plus button. Now when I try to go to YouTube, watch what happens. It redirects and says, no way, Jose, you put youtube.com in your block sites list. It's probably there for a reason, go back. The thing I don't like about using this free version of block site, one, you can only block up to six websites at a time. Two, it is trying to sell you a product. And three, if you have children, they'll know what's blocking the website because it says block site, you know? And so they'll know how to potentially turn off that. They'll be like, oh, block site. Let me go and access block site. They'll go here on block site. They'll find the site and they'll hit minus. And now that site is no longer blocked. So now if I try to go to YouTube, it loads fine without any problems. So I personally would recommend using Chrome's built-in tool where you just click on the top left corner here on the lock button go to site settings and toggle off JavaScript. Another thing you could do if you want the site to look like it's working and, and uh, frustrate your children if they're playing an addictive video game like happened to us this morning, you can actually toggle off images uh, where the website will kind of load, but there'll be no images on it. And so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna block images from YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and reload youtube.com so now it's kind of working, but there's no images. This is a lifesaver for me. Maybe you have a child, you don't want them to be accessing a video game on the internet all the time. You can go ahead and block that website. And as long as you don't show them how to come here, how to access the settings for this specific website on Google Chrome, then you should be golden. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time.